I want to make some fillet lace or net lace on, uh, but using the using the embroidery machine. I've done it by hand, and I want to show you how it's a little bit about how it's done by hand because then you'll understand better how it works, how to digitize it in for the sewing machine. Knowing how something is put together by hand manually. It can be very helpful when you go to do something, well, a project like that. Uh, fillet lace is, net or net lace, is netting. And you can make the net or you can buy it. This is fillet, this is a piece of fillet here. Um, see, it's woven, the, the thread is taken in and out through the net, filling it in, causing it to, uh, have the lace effect. It's done by taking net and stretching it over a frame. I use, the frame I use is a picture frame, wood picture frame that you can take apart, put together. These lock, these pieces lock in at the corners and so you can uh, then it becomes like, and using thumbtacks, you use thumbtacks to, you won't be able to see the thumbtack holes in here, but thumbtacks to stretch the net out over the frame. And net, netting itself, you can buy already, um, comes in several sizes. Here's a piece of netting. This is smaller. This is, I want to say this is five. Five to the inch, three to the inch. This looks like three to the inch. That's how it's measured, as you measure. And that looks like three to the inch. I think this one is five to the inch. It could be seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is five to the inch. And it goes as small as seven to the inch, which is even smaller. Um, this kind of lace is very nice for use with albs. Uh, you could use even the big lace is nice with albs. Uh, so the first, the way to make a design and any kind of fillet that, for example, I have patterns here for crochet fillet. Uh, any crochet fillet pattern can be used on net. So the way you do it, and if you ever want to learn how to do it, the whole process. Um, the lady lace by the sea. She's out of Florida. She puts. To, she has a, a a kit, which I bought from her, and that's how I learned to do it. Uh, the kit comes with with floss. Um, about wooden wooden frame like this but much smaller than this one I want to say it's about a foot square uh, the book which is step by step on how to do it and the lessons are very good uh, the thumbtacks the ballpoint needle to uh, fillet lace uses a very long ballpoint needle because you need to weave it in and out of of these meshes so you need a long needle to do that so you, it comes with the needle and everything you need to do and some patterns, everything you need to, to begin to learn how to do it. Then once you've learned how to do it, you can take and make your own patterns or trace other patterns. Now, for example, this is, a, this is a Sacred Heart pattern. And the way I, you do it is you take, um, what do you call this? Graph paper. And you use a marker and you put a dot in all of the spaces that are going to get filled in. Um, here I've marked them as I filled them in. But what I've done late afterwards, I, I, I found another method that I liked better. I mean, after, it, after I filled it in, let me see if I can find one here that's not done. All right. So here's here's a design. Like this hasn't isn't done yet. But here on this design I marked I marked all the the spaces that are going to get filled in with a highlighter. 
What I've done recently is the opposite of that. I go in and I mark all this, all the, the in, just the outside of the design I not don't care about uh, because that's going to be just open net. But I would go in and mark all the inside spaces. I can find one here that I've done that to. Inside spaces that um, are going to be that that are going to be left open. Let me see. If, let me get. I have a pattern here. Here's a pattern I want to do. This is a. I don't know how well you can see it there. This is an IHS in the center. This is for an altar um, lace. And the next to the IHS is this is uh, two a fleur de lis, one solid going this way and one open below it. Uh, the pattern looks something like this. So you would take, you would take net, you would take, uh, here's what the pattern looks like with dots, just with the dots. This is the fleur de lis, and this one is the IHS. And this one is just border. Here's another, here's another design with a, for again, for an altar lace, it was just a cross. Um, there's one here that I started to, to work on that is for grapes. It's for this grape design. And now, what are all these lines here? That's, that's the, how you, you figure out how you're going to, to do it. You want to start in one spot and you're going to go in and out and you want to you're actually mapping all of those dots so that you'll know where where to go and you'll actually cover the whole thing with one with one without picking up with without having to stop your thread it's all continuous weaving in and out and in and out the only time you have to stop is when you go to an area that is completely surrounded by open space, in which case you do have to. Though if you have a place that's close enough to it, you can sometimes skip through there and without doing it, without having to cut your thread and weave in and out again. Um, so for example, this one I started, this is where probably where I would start. And it works like this, you would come in Let's see. All right, so you would come in. I know I'm coming in this way, uh, and you need a pen that actually writes, which this is.